and a setback this week in the push to repeal the so-called gender tax. Well, not an actual tax. This is when women are charged more for the same products and services. Our Eric Landsgroner spoke with the chief sponsor of the legislation to stop the practice, state senator and deputy majority leader Derek Slap. I want to start with the news that the General Law Committee failed to take action on the bill. In essence, does this mean the bill is now dead for another year? Well, probably or potentially. I would say that nothing is ever dead until midnight on the last day of the legislative session. So I'm going to keep pushing it, keep working with my colleagues and talking to them and trying to build momentum because this is a bill. It's a long time coming. It was first proposed in the General Assembly about 20 years ago, and women still every year pay more for the same things that men pay for. Um, and so I think it's unfair, and hopefully we'll be able to get this done. So what is it that's taking so long to bring this to fruition? Yeah, um, you know, it's one of those issues that um, people have learned to live with. But when you talk to folks about it, when you talk to uh, women, whether it's your your mother or your partner, or your daughter, whatever. And they all kind of say, oh yeah, no, of course. We realize, yeah, we pay more for dry cleaning. We pay more when we go to a hair salon or get our hair cut than men do. And it's just, it's really unfair. Um, and if you think about it, uh, on average, women pay about $1,500 more a year, essentially just for being a woman. Is I'll give you one example, razors and razor blades, right, are often said to be um, more expensive just because, you know, they're marketed to women and they're pink, you know, as an example. So um, we, we do see that across the board.